Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. Samsung has a new top mid-range model, the Galaxy A55. But last year's Galaxy A54 is also still available for a lower price. How much better is the new model and would you miss out on a lot by going for the older one? Let's put the A55 and A54 head to head and find out. In many ways, the Galaxy A55 and Galaxy A54 are quite similar, but there are a few upgrades worth mentioning on the new model. The A55 is the larger device, it's built around a bigger 6.6 inch display. And that display is protected by tougher Gorilla Glass Victus Plus compared to Gorilla Glass 5 on the A54. Besides that, both phones have a similar design with a flat glass back. You will see a difference on the frame though, the A55 is just made of aluminum instead of plastic, and is flat, not rounded, with an elevated portion where the buttons reside. When it comes to ingress protection, both phones have the same IP67 rating, so there's no difference there. Like I mentioned, the A55 has a 6.6 inch OLED display with a 1080p resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate. The A54's display has very similar specs, except of course it's a bit smaller at 6.4 inches. Content looks equally good on both panels, and you get the same brightness and refresh rate handling. Both phones support HDR10 Plus video too. You also get a stereo speaker setup on either phone. The A55 has gotten an upgrade though. It's a bit louder, and it has better bass and cleaner sounding vocals. Another difference between the phones is the chipset. The Galaxy A55 uses the new Exynos 1480. The Galaxy A54 on the other hand uses last year's Exynos 1380 chipset. In benchmarks, the A55 scored significantly higher scores. The difference isn't massive, but it's there, and this might matter if you're into heavy gaming. Still though, both phones provide a snappy experience for your everyday routine tasks. Both phones have the same battery capacity, but the A55 earned an active use score of 13 hours and 27 minutes in our tests, versus 11 hours and 15 minutes on the A54. The charging speed is exactly the same though. Both phones support 25 watt charging, and with a proper adapter, they could charge from zero to about 55% in half an hour, and a full charge took a little over an hour. Also the same is the software experience. Both of these Galaxy devices run on Samsung's newest One UI and provide the same features. You get the same level of software support on either phone too, four years of OS updates and five years of security patches. But since the A54 is the older model, its support won't last as far into the future as the A55's. At first glance, the cameras are the same on both devices. On either the A55 or the A54, you'll get a 50 megapixel main cam, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel macro camera. However, the main cameras use different sensors, and it appears the same might be true for the ultra wide and selfie cams too. Looking at the main cameras on both phones, the photos look quite comparable in terms of detail. Dynamic range and contrast are far from perfect on either phone, but they're also quite comparable. The A55 tends to have slightly more laid back and relaxed processing. Its color rendition is less saturated and you get less sharpening. It's not like the A54 is overly aggressive in its approach, but there is a noticeable difference. The two ultra wide cameras are also quite comparable in quality though, but looking at the samples, we do have to give the A54 a slight edge. It seems to offer a bit more detail and fewer sharpening artifacts. Both phones capture very competent low light photos with their respective main cameras. Detail is great, even in the shadows. Highlights are well developed too, and light sources are handled very competently. If we had to choose, we might give the A54 a slight edge in detail. The ultra wide cameras do reasonably well too. Again, it is quite comparable in overall quality. When it comes to 4K video recording, it seems that the A54 has the edge. Both phones have plenty of detail, though the A54 produces cleaner and sharper videos. It also does a bit better with the dynamic range. The colors are very similar, though the A55 has a slightly more saturated palette. When it comes to ultra-wide 4K footage, there isn't a major difference in overall quality. The A54 might have a bit more sharpening. Both phones do a great job of capturing selfies. And here's a look at 4K selfie videos taken from either phone. So there you have it, Samsung's Galaxy A55 and Galaxy A54. There are actually more differences between the two than you might expect. The A55 is the larger device with upgraded materials like an aluminum frame and Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the screen. The speaker quality has improved. The chipset is more powerful and the battery life is better. 
and since it's newer, the software support will last longer. The A54, on the other hand, has the more compact design, and is able to provide the same features overall that the A55 can, but at a lower price. If the A55 is available in your market, you'll have to decide if those perks it brings are worth paying extra over the A54. But in the end, you can't go wrong with either phone. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.